Hello, this lecture and presentation is designed to help you be able to maneuver through our Blackboard page in our HELP 311 course. I want to show you how Blackboard is set up to try to make it easier for you to use. When you open up to Blackboard, you should see a page that looks like this with a list of all your courses in the center. On the right hand side, any course that has announcements, they will show here. And then on the left hand side, there are some important tools that I want to show you before we go look at the class. The first item here is called Blackboard Support. And that's really important because if you have issues related to Blackboard, you can click on this link and it will take you to a site where you can file a work order or ask for assistance or do live chat about what the issue is. The next item I want to show you is something called um, Calendar. If you click on Calendar, all of your teachers that are using Blackboard, all of your assignments will show on one calendar. So rather than writing everything into a calendar, you could actually print a calendar out from Blackboard. The other item you can look at right here is to find your grades. You don't even need to go into Blackboard. You can go right here and click on My Grades and all of your grades for your classes will show. So a really important feature on this left hand side is Browser Check. Every semester before you start your classes, you should click on Browser Check. When you click on this link, it takes you to a page that will help you determine if your software on your browser is up to date. So when the page opens, you will go down here to Run Browser Check. You click on Run Browser Checker and it will tell you how you're doing. So for example, the computer that I'm using, it tells you about my computer. My Firefox is up to date. I've enabled cookies and my, uh, my pop-up blocker is disabled. Other potential problems they show down here. I might have problems with JavaScript that I need to fix or my Shockwave player. So this tells you exactly what's wrong or exactly what's right with what you're doing. So if you're having problems with Blackboard, the first thing you really need to do is to go back and work on uh, the browser checker and see if everything is okay in your computer. Excuse me. All right. So we're going to close out of this and I'm going to have to go back. It looks like to the beginning. Let me try one more time to move this. Okay, great. It's taking me back to Blackboard. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open our course. And when you open the course, it will take you right to an announcement page. And every time you open the course, you will be on this announcement page. Because this class is 100% online, you're going to find that there will be at least one announcement a week. And the announcements are designed to remind you what's coming up and what's due. And so it's very important for you to pay attention to the announcements that appear on this page. You should probably check your announcements at least once a week. Um, every time you log in, you should see if there's new announcements. So the next thing I want to show you over here is the information button. When you click on information, it will take you to a page. And right now, the only thing there is our syllabus. And there is a separate video on the syllabus that we'll watch um, separate from this. So we'll open the syllabus in that video. But if there are any other pieces of information that are important, they will all appear in this section of your Blackboard page. Most of your time is going to be spent in the content area. When you click on the content link, it will take you to a page that looks like this. And it will show you how the class is set up. So our class is set up in five units. We're going to specifically look at the first unit. All the units will be lined out the same way. However, at this point in time when I'm recording the video, only one unit is ready. Go back. Okay, so when you're looking at this unit, what you're going to do is the first thing you do for every unit is you open up the summary sheet because the summary sheet will tell you exactly what is expected of you. So here we have the summary sheet opening.
and every summary sheet will look very similar to this one. So the first thing you will see at the top of your summary sheet is you will see what the purpose of the unit is. It will give you outcomes or objectives. These are the things you should be able to do when you complete the unit. And then these are the assignments or activities you need to complete in the exact order in which you should complete them. So right now you're watching one of the three videos. The second thing you should do is go to the discussion board. The third thing you should do is submit three diseases that you would like to research this semester. And the last thing is to complete online 01. What's important is you have to decide how to best use this sheet. Some people find it best to print it out and as they complete each activity they check it off and when they get to the bottom they know they're finished. Some people just keep it saved on their computer. You're going to have to decide which one is best for you. But after you open up the summary for your, uh, the unit, you're going to go open the unit folder. So here we've looked at the summary. Now we're going to open up the unit called Introductions. And in this unit, you will find everything you need to do in the exact order in which you need to do it. So the first thing that's listed here is watch three videos. Right now, there's only one video posted. There will be three by the time you're watching this. After you watch the three videos, it says right here, after watching the three presentations, click on the discussion button to the left and introduce yourself. So when there is a discussion for this class, you will go over to the left side, click on the discussion button, and it will take you to discussion board. What you will see might look slightly different than what I see as the instructor, but what you will see is here you are, right here, you will click on the Introduction Unit 1 Discussion Board. When you click on it, you're then going to click on Create a Thread. And at the time of me showing you this, some people have already created their threads. You will click on Create Thread. You will give your uh, discussion a name, a, a subject. It could be your name. It could be introductions. That's up to you. You will then answer the questions in this space. The questions are here. You'll type your answers here. And then when you hit the submit button, it will appear on a list of discussions. So that's how you will do that. There's an important piece on discussions that is that you need to consider. And that is, do you want to be able to go into Blackboard every day and see what's going on? Or if there's a discussion, do you want to be able to just be notified? If you want to be notified every time somebody posts something in this discussion board, you click on the subscribe button. When you click on the subscribe button, you will get an email every time there is a new posting to the discussion board. If you get tired of getting the emails, you just click unsubscribe. So again, that's something you're going to have to decide whether or not that's going to help you or not. So let's go back to the content section where we were. Go back to unit one. So we're watching three videos, we've done the discussion board. The next thing here is a pre-class assignment. When you click on this pre-class assignment button, it will take you directly to where you are going to submit your assignment. This is worth zero points because I just need to get you assigned to a disease. The date, this is when it's due. What you will do is you will just type, you will, for this assignment and this assignment only, you will click Write Assignment and you will type your answer here. Typically what you will do is you will browse your computer and you will upload something. So let's say you take this cover letter for Brick Bodies is your assignment. You would attach it and then you hit Submit. Okay. Um, over the summer you will not get a receipt I don't think but when they update Blackboard in August you will get receipts for everything you submit. When you submit this, you can see what I see. So if it shows you a blank page, that means that's what I'm going to see and nothing is there. So always make sure that what you submit, you can see. So we're going to go back to Unit 1 again. And here we are, the last assignment to do is, the, um, is on line 01. And again, you will, 
when you click on this it takes you to where you submit it this is the actual assignment so you click on where you're going to submit it here's the assignment you open the assignment and this is how most of your assignments will go they will you'll not type in blackboard but you will submit a word document so here is the assignment it's a sum it's an assignment that shows that you've watched the videos you type your answers here you save it correctly and then you will browse your computer and you will attach it and hit submit so that's how the course is set up if anything is happening in a unit it is going to appear in the unit area and everything in the unit area will occur in the exact order in which you should do it it's not set up so that you have to go in this order but it really is in your best interest to do things in the exact order in which they're listed when there are tests or quizzes that occur they will be listed here also so and you'll know what to do because you will have a unit summary and the unit summary will tell you these are the things you need to do to complete the lesson or the unit and once you're finished everything then you move on to the next lesson or unit so that concludes this presentation um, if you have any questions just email me but I look forward to working with you in Blackboard and I'm hoping that this helps you make Blackboard run a little bit easier for you Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next presentation on your class syllabus.